Hey everyone, today I wanted to come on and talk just a little bit, I'm hoping this is not going to be a 30 minute video like the last one, uh, about the Tandem T-Slim X2 pump in sleep mode. If this is something you guys are interested in, uh, please keep watching the video. Okay, to start out, I'm going to tell you about sleep mode and then towards the end of the video, I will be explaining um, how you can put it into sleep mode, the pump into sleep mode. So right now, I have my pump in sleep mode. You can see it right here, the little Z's. Um, what that does is it gives you the option in the activity settings. Um, you have like exercise and sleep. Uh, if you decide you want to put it in sleep mode, what it does is you can use it at any time, but it's really great at night. Um, that when you set the sleep mode, you, your blood sugars will be in a tighter control. So what it does is it keeps your blood sugars in between 120 and 112. So the highest limit is 120 and the lowest is 112. So that way, you know, you're not skyrocketing at night, it's not plummeting at night. And while during sleep mode, you will not get any correction boluses, it just will increase or decrease uh, your basal rate. This has been a game changer for me. I've talked about it before and I said 160 but it's actually between 120 and 112 uh, your blood sugar range. Um, it makes a huge difference sometimes like now I don't feel good. I mean I feel better today but I haven't felt well you know with everything going on. I put it in sleep mode and keep it there majority of the time like that. Uh, I did it yesterday. I decided to change it yesterday because I noticed my blood sugars were going up a little bit um, higher than I wanted to. And of course, I talked about coffee. I love coffee. Love. Um, even though I know that coffee raises my blood sugar up, uh, I just love it. So to take an account for that, uh, sometimes during the mornings or if I feel bad, I will... Um, you know set it to sleep mode and it's a, a great it's just a great tool because diabetics we have such a hard time with sleep anyway and then finally once we get go to sleep I mean you know you're constantly something's vibrating and not in a good way uh, or alarming or whatever you know and it's just it's exhausting and like somebody had contacted me uh, about, you know, sometimes you're so exhausted, you're just like, God, Lord, please take me, you know, six pounds, seven ounces, baby, Jesus, take me, take the wheel, Jesus, take the wheel, take me, you know, you're just so exhausted and tired um, that you will ignore those alarms and things like that, you know, or cut them off completely. So this is a great help uh, in, in helping to keep a tighter control uh, and you can also set uh, sleep schedules. So instead of, you know, there are two ways to do it. You can either turn it on manually and turn it off manually, or you can go in and set times. There are two, you have two settings for sleep mode, you know, like two, two different times that you can set it for two different schedules. Uh, and so, you know, if you know you, you're, you, you pretty much go to bed at a certain time. I mean, it never hurts for your blood sugars to be in tighter control, but you do, sometimes you want that freedom of, um, you know, what if you eat something and say you're not quite sure of the carb content and you want to have that little extra uh, uh, correction bolus because it does not give you a correction bolus during it. It is straight, messes with your basal rate, no correction bolus. That's the one thing I talked about in my last video that I loved about the Tandem, is it just doesn't increase or decrease your basal rate. It gives you a, a small correction uh, bolus. So, you know, on top, and it calculates in your, if you bolus or if you decide you need to bolus after it gives you an automated bolus, um, it, you know, everything, insulin on board, all that, it does all those corrections. Um, so, that part is fantastic. I mean, the whole thing, I mean, when I first got the Tandem pump, you know, I was still trying to figure out all my settings, insulin carb ratio, you know, correction settings, insulin sensitivity. So I was messing with everything and I would 
eventually ended up until I could figure out everything putting in sleep mode you know and it also goes off of your the settings you have but it helped so much until I could get everything you know right but of course we get sick we you know and you can use sleep mode during activities as well um, you know I've never put any of my pumps in exercise mode I said activities I mean exercise exercise mode I have just never done that because I again am so brittle that not always when I exercise do my blood sugars rise. You know, a lot of people say, and, and that's usually the case because your your metabolism is speeding up. You um, your blood sugars will go up. So you try to keep, you know, uh, sometimes have a an uh, exercise setting that's higher, you know, or more aggressive, or whatever. But not for me. That's why when I say when my sugar goes high. I will give a little bit of insulin and get in a hot bathtub. That does me much better than exercise. I don't know why. I'm very weird and how my body burns off stuff and reacts to things. Uh, because if I were to feel bad, go outside, start exercising, um, you know, and think, well, I'll take a little bit of insulin and then I'll exercise and it'll drop my blood sugar. It doesn't do that. It jacks my blood sugar. Up, 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 up. Um, and some people are more sensitive during exercise but for me to get in a hot bathtub after I've taken insulin you know made sure everything was correct and nothing's leaking no bad insulin all my settings are correct if I do that it will drop my blood sugar so that's that's like a, a thing that I do it may not work for everybody but it does for me and usually taking a hot shower will lower your blood sugars it, you know, um, if you if you are getting insulin, you know, you just might be sick and reacting differently or taking a medication that will, for some whatever reason, up your blood sugar, you know. And every diabetic is different, so always remember that. Um, I mean, I give advice based off of me, but you may be different and you think, well, that's not right, that doesn't work for me. And it may not, but, you know, if you've never tried it, try it. If it doesn't, you know, try it at your own risk, anything I say or do. Do at your own risk. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just telling you what I'm trying. Let me, you know, straight up, I'm not a doctor. Um, I just play one on TV. I'm just joking. Uh, but I did sleep at a Holiday Inn Express last night. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, but now I will go into um, how you go in and you do those settings. Okay? Okay. I've taken my pump off of sleep, sleep mode so that I could explain this to you and also show you. Um, to activate sleep mode manually, okay, here's my pump. And this is in the T-Slam. X2, you go into Options. Then you'll see down here it says Activity. You'll press the Activity button. Then you will see up here it says Exercise, Sleep, Sleep Schedules, Temporary Basal, okay? If you guys can see that, probably be backwards. So you go in and it says start. Now this is how you do it just manually, and you hit start, and then it shows you sleep mode, and then you'll see a disease up here. Okay, but say you think you decide I want to be on a schedule so that it comes on, I don't have to think about it, and then it'll go off. What you can do is hit options again. You hit the options button. You go into activities. I hit the activity button. Then you go into sleep schedule, okay? And then it says press to turn on, but you can hit it and see it, it even has like scheduled days. Certain days you can put it like for certain days, say you work and you're all whatever and you think you might, you know, sleep late or, or take naps or whatever, depending on your schedule. Well, that's how you do it. You have a start and an end time and you can schedule the days, you see, like that. And you have two of those options. Um, and if you don't want to do it, so you go in here like, okay, I don't want to do it. You just go back. Okay? Yeah. Make a double check. But what I do right now, I did have a sleep schedule set um, uh, to come on at certain times at night or whatever. And uh, in certain days, but that's, I've got that off um, that because I changed so much you know throughout the day but that's basically it guys I mean that's it and right now you're if you look at my blood sugar you should think that is not between 120 and 112 
Nay, nay, it's not. But it's good. Okay? I mean, I do realize if you see here, it, and, and I have my settings on here a little differently than when it, you know, will do because I react so weird to insulin. Um, but like here, you can see where I drank coffee. You see, and it went up almost to 200 and now, but I've taken no insulin as far as me giving myself insulin, nothing. This has slowly brought it down and it will. It was actually, when I first started talking to you guys, it was like 130 something. Um, it went up a little bit, but I'm telling you, like if I get excited or whatever, like while I was filming in the beginning, my son called. If you, uh, um, that's why some of it will be a little choppy where I come in and out of it. My son called and I was super excited to talk to him. So it lifted my blood sugar up. It's just what happens. That's, that's kind of what happens. But it does keep it in a much tighter range. And if you don't mess with it, it will, you know, and you're not eating anything, it will keep it in there. It just doesn't give correction bonuses. But it is a wonderful, wonderful. So I hope this explained it a little better, maybe in, you know, more layman's terms <laughs> uh, about what it does. I mean, it's very simple. It's not like a, you know, a really hard explanation. It's just sometimes seeing somebody do it, explaining it, you know, in their terms or whatever, um, what something is, it kind of gives you a better idea. Uh, and it, it's really good. And actually I am thinking about, now that I think about it, uh, gonna put it, since I'm not feeling good, um, put put it in a, in sleep mode like at night, you know, have a schedule for sure at night. Um, but, uh, but see, it gives you the freedom to do that. I mean, I think it's great. And a lot of people use it for exercise instead of actually using the exercise, I've, I mean, I've never even turned it on. I've never even looked in it. Um, never even looked it up to find out what it actually, how it actually works because I don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth, I don't care. I like the sleep mode, you know. I mean, they just never worked for me before. It doesn't mean it wouldn't work now. It's just, you know. Um, but if you want me to do a thing on the exercise mode, I will. Um, don't want me to because I don't really want to. But if you do, I'll do it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope this video helped a little, you know. Um, I hope you guys are doing good. It's Friday, TGIF. Yes! Um, I hope you have a great weekend. Spend time with your loved ones. Laugh, be sarcastic. Remember, don't take life too seriously. Nobody ever makes it out alive. I mean, we're just living to die, so you might as well enjoy life as much as you can, okay? Um, and as always, be the reason somebody gets drunk today. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.